Let's do one more example of a rational equation. Just like the last one we did, we have uh, trinomials, we have polynomials in each of the denominators. So in order for us to identify the LCD, we have to factor everything completely. So this guy right here is going to factor as x minus 2 times x minus 4. This one, we need factors of 14 that subtract to 5. So that's going to be x plus 7 and x minus 2. And over here, factors of 28 that subtract to 3. That is x plus 7 times x minus 4. And just like the last problem, you just find those missing factors and you start putting them in. So what factor is missing from this denominator that everybody else has? It's the factor x plus 7. If you leave the problem like this, this is bad. You have to also include that factor in the numerator. You can't just put it in the bottom, it's got to go in the top as well. The factor that's missing here, let's see, there's x plus 7 and x minus 2, so he's missing x minus 4. So put in the factor x minus 4 in the denominator and the numerator. And then finally, for that last fraction, we are missing the factor x minus 2. So in both the numerator and the denominator. Since everybody here has the exact same denominators, we're going to rewrite this using just the numerators. So this becomes 4 times x plus 7 minus 3, and this was times x minus 4, make sure you copy everything down correctly, equals x times x minus 2. So I suggest writing that step using your color so you can see what those changes are. And then, then you multiply. So here we have 4x plus 28. And this is minus 3x. Be careful when you distribute the negative. This is negative 3 times negative 4. So plus 12 equals, and this is x squared minus 2x. All right, so I see I've got the x squared. That tells me this guy is quadratic. And more than likely, solving is going to include factoring. Uh, let's go ahead and clean this up over here. I, I don't like that. So 4x minus 3x is x. 28 and 12 is 40. And this equals x squared minus 2x. Now I know how you feel about putting everything on the left side, but if I do that, I'm going to have a lead coefficient that's now negative. So instead of moving things to the left, I'm going to move things over to the right. So let's subtract x, like this, and let's go ahead and subtract 40 as well. Now, I don't want you to take what I just said as meaning you can't move your terms to the left. You can. You can have negative x squared, um, but it's really in our best interest to make sure it's positive. So I would suggest a, a sign change to make it easier for you. So here we have 0 is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 40. You have a nice trinomial. should be fairly easy to factor this, finding factors of 40 that subtract to 3. And those factor, factors would be 8 and 5. Well, the middle term is negative, so the larger number must be negative. And this 5 is going to be positive, so we end up with a negative 40 at the end. And then we just finish solving this. So from x minus 8, x equals 8, or from the other factor, x equals negative 5. And again, before we start boxing our answers, you want to make sure that you have identified any and all restricted values. So what makes this guy equal 0? 2. x minus 4 means that x equals 4 is a restricted value, and from the factor x plus 7, negative 7 is at a restricted value. So, 
do we have any restricted values for our solutions? No. So that means x equals 8 and x equals negative 5 are our two solutions.